And I think that what Constantinople is doing is asserting their authority as the first among equals, which some call the first without equals. And, ortho and you see that phrase used in Latin in both, in both definitions in response to the implicit accusation that Moscow has attempted to be the ecumenical patriarchate by, by the use of that power. Now, I think the, the larger question that you're asking is what kind of interdependence is there then among the Orthodox? Um, there, there was a great deal of anxiety in the Ukrainian media uh, and among certain Ukrainian Orthodox people when a, a, a draft of the statute supposedly was leaked online that said that um, the Ukrainian church has autocephaly through the ecumenical patriarchate and that uh, the question of whether or not the, you know, all appeals would go to, well, they, they already regard themselves as having the canonical authority to hear appeals. And it is also the Constantinopolitan tradition to give myrrh uh, for the, uh, the mystery of chrismation to all of the churches. Um, it, it's a patriarchal thing. And in that sense, I think that you simply have different definitions of what autocephaly is. Because, uh, for example, um, at the 1917 Moscow Council, the, even though the Ukrainian church was autonomous, the Moscow Council granted them the authority to consecrate their own myrrh. And yet, an autocephalous church in, in the Constantinopolitan definition receives their myrrh from Constantinople as a mother church. So there really are differing definitions of autocephaly how those play out in theory as opposed to practice to me, I think, is I think that, that you would have to avoid reading that very strictly. I also would welcome, uh, I would, a dialogue between Catholics and Orthodox and what the Orthodox mean by primacy. And the Orthodox have been trying to do that at least in the academic level because uh, Father John Krizevgis published two volumes uh, of reflections on primacy in the church, which uh, go from reflections on the primacy of Peter to really putting into contradistinction with another the Constantinopolitan and the Moscow positions. And that's why we have theory and practice, because in practice now we're seeing this erupting in conflict. Um, what the Ukrainians are going to have to ask of themselves is since they decided to turn to an external authority, to resolve this issue is um, what will they owe Constantinople? When an uh, intra-Orthodox issue comes into play, and you can bet it will happen soon, will Constantinople uh, ask the Ukrainians to pay their debt? I think you can count on that happening sooner rather than later, to be honest. <laughs>